So, and um, and sticking to our uh, new <coughs> programming, we like we've been interviewing uh, our advertisers, these business owners, on their brands, on you know their stories to, to to better connect you with them. We have another special guest in the building today. Yes. Okay. Good friend of the show. He wrote the forward to my book, Urban Excellence. Steve Canal yes. is in the building. And when I tell you this us. is a good brother, yes, yes, this is an amazing brother. Steve, what's good, man? What's up? What's up, family? What's Good good? Word. What's good? Man, all good, man. Happy Father's Day to you. Yes, yes. Man, thank you. Happy Father's Day to you too, man. Thank you. Bless thank you. you. No, absolutely, man. Uh, I hope all is well. We also have our Juneteenth uh, celebration. So we've been stacked this weekend. Yes. Absolutely. Man. First of all, I want to say congratulations on, you know, getting close to that 300, you know, special, you know, uh, you know, Malcolm, I know I was there. It was probably double digit numbers when we did our interview. I, we didn't even have the pie, the pie. It was just interviews. Yeah, it was just interviews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so special to be here. So I appreciate mm -hmm. you for uh, allowing us, myself and Flourish to be on your platform. You know, we've had some of your audience, um, of course, our community tap in already, which mm -hmm. has been beautiful. Some people apply for their business to be on the platform. And of course, because of our relationship, they're going to cut the line and make sure we expedite them getting onto the platform. That's what it's about. Man. That's what it's about. Let me throw some claps yeah, in there, man. man. That's, super That's tough. what we're talking about. So I, first, um, I wanted to ask you, how did this idea come about? And I wanted to, to, to get um information on how the name how you came up with the name and everything as well absolutely all we do it's in our dna right every day you know when, when folks you know two times a week hop onto your platform they see the amazing products that you guys put on display with your shirts with your hoodies with the, with your hats that's our dna speaking you know mm -hmm. and i wanted to be able to put that put us in our community in a position to flourish right because it's bigger than just selling products online. Right. What comes with that as well is a disruption to all the noise that we get every day on social media, on the internet, um, just standing outside. We wanted to help black owned brands specifically because every brand that's on the platform is 100% you know, black owned brands um, to help you cut through that clutter. Because I have 20 years experience of marketing, trade marketing, sales, community affairs, I specifically went to corporate to learn how to run a billion dollar business. So by doing that, I got the blueprint. Yes. So I, when it was time for me to get my time back, I left corporate America and I, I, I put all and applied all those insights, the innovation, all the tools, relationships, and put it into this business. No, that's amazing, mm -hmm. man. And uh, something you said, it was very important. It's bigger than just selling hats and t-shirts. It is a relationship uh, about that we're trying to establish. So right. we, uh, you know, we appreciate you doing this because if I can go one place and get all the things I need, uh, then that, that, and feel good about, uh, the collective economics of, you know, spending my money, then that's a, a big step in us taking back economic power, which is an important process of what we're going through. Absolutely. Putting ourselves in a position to create legacy. Right. Because yes. it's 99.9 percent .9 impossible to do it yourself. So we want to be in a position to build community. So we call it a community e-commerce platform. Um, every brand that's onboarded gets invited to our Slack channel and all the brands get to communicate with each other. Not only do they get to communicate, talk about potential collaborations, support each other on big wins. We also have our trademark attorneys in there, our mm. uh, community and PR you know, leaders in there our e-commerce leaders are in there, all the executive team is in there to be able to answer questions and position you to, to be successful with your platform because it truly, truly takes a community to make mm -hmm. this thrive. Man, that is amazing. And I, I always love stuff like that because again, you're not just putting people's stuff out there and leaving them to the wolves right. and leaving them where they don't know how to uh, make this happen or they feel like they're are below a certain another brand so that you they're able to communicate learn from each other and learn from you guys i think that's incredible yeah i think you know when when you think about it when we grew up um it was it was all about what can i do and we kind of we sheltered the data and information 
um, the new generation and the thought process that we're into right now, we're understanding that it takes a community and, you know, to see how much, how many people are collaborating on a platform and sharing insights of who their distributors are, mm -hmm. you know, different manufacturers they have outside of China and Indonesia and other places, mm -hmm. India, across mm -hmm. the world, you know, understanding, you know, the cheat code and, and actually allowing us to, to cut that line, you know, and right. positioning us together. It's a beautiful thing to watch because it wasn't always like that. Right. Not only that, Steve, you spent 20 years in corporate America. And I remember talking to you 10 years ago. You had a blueprint in place then of what it is that you were trying to do. And I always tell people it's nothing wrong with going into corporate America or, or going to get a job so you can learn how the structure works because you know, you don't just come out and run your own business. You need to understand the whole concept. So I'm very proud of you. And I always knew that this day was coming when you would, uh, you know, leverage that into something that was going to be fruitful for you and your family. Yeah. And, and to that point, there's, there's two ways to go. If you're in corporate America, that's okay. Right. Just have purpose while you're in corporate America and know what you're trying to, to get out of it. And if you're an entrepreneur, that's okay. Right. You can't be mad at one or the other because of the consistent checks on one hand or the freedom of time on the other. Right. It's just understanding what your purpose is. And me understanding my purpose allowed me to get to where I was and where I wanted to be. So today, you know, on Flourish, we have over four thousand black owned products. We have one hundred plus black owned brands. We have over one thousand businesses that are in the waiting list to get onto the platform. Ooh. Crazy. You know, for for me, you know, the proof of concept is there. Right. Right. And you had you had a term where it was a corporatepreneur. Yeah, when I was in corporate, I, I called it corporatepreneur. Right? Yeah, I was yeah. Corporate, but I was still an entrepreneur because I knew what my purpose was. I knew why I why I was there because I was learning, you know, the 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 tools and 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 the the playbook mm -hmm. to apply to my entrepreneurship venture. So when it was time for me to get my time back. I dipped out, even though I was a high performer, left out and applied all those all those resources and that insights to my business. And I'm pretty sure you still have relationships within the corporate structure as you need them. Absolutely. Absolutely. The, you know, that bat line is important because within it's, it's the art, you know, the 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 art of um, networking. Right. Understanding that um, our phone books have everything we need in them to, to be successful. Mm -hmm. The people we need to know are in, in this book. It might not be that one person, but that person knows who you need to know, right? Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, you need to let the world know what you want. And once you do that, the world will open up because people will know how to help you. If nobody knows how to help you because you keep everything in your mind, I'm not going to know the relationship to connect you with. I'm not going to know the vendor to connect you with. I'm not going to know the insights and the information I need to share with you for you to climb that ladder or get over that hump. Right. So don't be afraid to let the world know what you want, because once you do, the doors will open up. Got you. So I, I wanted to ask you another question. Like, what is like your day to day like with trying to connect with these brands? Because you also have a. a, a um, a segment or where you interview some of these brands that are, um, are featured yeah, on your site five, as well. Flourish five interviews. Yeah. Right. So the year while, while we were getting the technology together, um, I was DMing brands on Instagram. I did my research, right? Mm -hmm. DMing brands on Instagram, LinkedIn, emailing folks, um, reaching out. Uh, and it was a grind every day, mm -hmm. you know, to get to the initial allotment of brands that we launched with once we launched and the proof of concept was there i don't have to make any phone calls or dms anymore people are reaching out to us you know trying to get on the platform because they see it's bigger than them just putting a product on the website they right. see the interviews they see the 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 opportunities that these brands are getting the first thing they ask me is how much does it cost to be on a platform like i created this for us this there is no cost to be on the platform Right. We'll do a percentage of sale because that's business. You're going to mm -hmm. see we're going to earn it. Mm -hmm. you, right. you, you can be on the platform for free all day. You'll get the marketing, you'll mm -hmm. get the interviews, you get the exposure. But when the sales start coming in, then, you know, we're business partners at that time, at that point. Listen, that's that's a great concept. Also, how has fatherhood since, you know, Father's Day just passed? How has that uh, motivated you or redirected your energy? 
because now it's about legacy. So talk to me about uh, family and legacy and what this means for, for the young men that you're raising. Absolutely. I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old. Um, every day, you know, they wake up and, and look at my eyes, look at my wife's eyes and want to know what, what's the plan for the day. You know? <laughs> um, and we have to instill, uh, you know, the, the path and the DNA and the journey that we've, we've overcome and continue to, to flourish in to instill into them. Because when I was a I like child- Like how you did that, by the way, real, real quick. <laughs> like how you did that. <laughs> Both of my parents come from Haiti, right? They're immigrants. You know, I still have family that's in Haiti that we support. They came in here and sacri- they came to the States and sacrificed everything that they had to give myself, my two sisters and brother an opportunity and chance, mm-hmm. right? Um, and they instilled hard working into us. They instilled wanting to learn more because their education only went so far. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was our job to, to, to take the baton from there and continue the journey. And now we're on our journey and we're, it's, it's our job to pass that baton, you know, to our children with more insights, more innovation and tools and experience of being around this. Right. Mm-hmm. When my wife got inducted to the basketball hall of fame, um, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we're going to clap that up. Yeah. Swim cash. Basketball yeah. Hall of Fame executive yeah. for the Pelicans, you know, yeah. all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Right. All right, yeah, yeah, now continue. <laughs> Man, it's like getting them exposure to that, to be around that, to mm-hmm. see that, that's what our communities are missing. Yes. Right. It's hope. It's hope. To them, that's natural now. Right. Yes. Right. Getting on a court and Dwayne Wade picking you up, high five Magic Johnson. Right. You know what I'm saying? Having dinner with Dr. J, you know, like that's natural to them right now. That nice. wasn't natural to us. Right. But that's 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 the five hundred years, a thousand years advantage that, you know, the folks who, you know, did what they did to us right. have over it because mm-hmm. You know, they're in the corporate spaces. They are the CEOs. They are the executive cabinet. They are the board chair members, mm. right? So their children get to see that their whole 20, 30, 40 years. Right. You know, I always say Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kanye, as much as we, however you feel about them, they're first time billionaires. Yes. They're learning how to do it right now. Yes. Right? Yes. So they're learning as they go. So it's our job to make our children comfortable to be thousandaires, millionaires, to billionaires, mm. you know what I'm saying? To know like, it, I can do this. I have, I have everything I need <laughs> within mm. my soul, within my body and my right. mind to achieve anything I need to achieve because they, they don't see doubt. We only and, put them in front of, you know, accomplishment. And, and, and that's important because I wrote an ebook uh, talking about the relationships at the dinner table must change amongst us. Like, you know, these white executives, they're having conversations with their children about stocks, bonds, mm-hmm. dividends, investments early on. So it becomes a part of their vernacular. It, it's a yep. part of the lexicon of their thought process when we have to get out of survival mode. So it's important that the children hear a different conversation early on because it can make a world Right. of a difference. So I'm real proud of you about that. So we, we given a discount. Yes, yes the discount is, is 20% off uh, for Juneteenth, right on, on the site. And the code is hold on, I have it pinned. The flow 20, the flow 20. Yes, the flow 20. So if you sign up, you're gonna get expedited to the front of the line, the flow 20. And uh, the code is at the, at the top of the, the chat right now, everything the link and the code is at the top right now. So you can use it. And dope. So, so to your audience, whenever you fill out the application via the Flourish website, um, it's going to have a note on the bottom. Just put Urban X on the bottom and we'll take care of you right away. If you are a brand oh or man. storyteller or storyteller, because the important piece is it's brands that are on the platform. But we're also onboarding storytellers who we're going to connect with brands to create content for the brands and get paid for that. Let me drop a bomb to that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Listen, if you was thinking about it, it's a layup. Come on. That's a layup. So I appreciate you all for this time, man. You know, obviously that I've been following your journey forever. Um, You are one of the pillars that freed my mind. You know, I appreciate it. 
the first time I heard Dead Prez, Let's Get Free, it put me on a journey. Me and my, you know, one of my good friends, Rich, and we got onto the circuit and started getting that knowledge and we started overstanding everything to put us in a position to make business moves like we are today. So thank you. And we thank you, we man. Thank you, and man. send the family some love and support. And when we get out there to right. to, to uh, New Orleans, we, yeah, I know I, I, I already know because I sent Marcus out yeah. there and he got the royal treatment. Oh, so I already we know. We was eating, watching the game. Yeah. Great yes. And it was cool, man. And that was yeah. last minute. And, and see, that goes to show you how sincere this brother. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like last minute. I said, Steve, if you're in the area, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Marcus is going to come through. And he got that treatment. We love you. Give the family some love. And we talk to you soon, King. Absolutely. Thank you. Love to the family. Yeah, Father. man. Happy Father's Day. Appreciate you all. And love to, to everybody tapping in because it's important. Support. Continue to support these fellas. Thank yes. you, man. Peace. 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 Huh? Man, shouts out to Steve, man. Shouts out to Steve, bro. Man. Super dope. That was dope. That's super dope. But this has always been a beaming light. Uh, you know, for the time I mm. met this brother, I could tell he had it together. You know? Super dope, yeah. Uh, Steve, he actually, I remember um, the first time like I actually like verbalized like what I wanted my book to be, I told him first. Yes. Because he wrote a similar book, but he had like a bunch of famous people in it. And then I, I told him what I wanted my concept to be when I was talking about like, urban excellence. I just kind of wanted, you know, normal people, you know yes, what I mean, yes. in the book. He just completely understood it. And then I remember him looking at me like, Anything else? I'm Anything like, else? <laughs> and I would like you to write the forward. He's like, I got you, I got you. I was like, all right, cool. So yeah, uh, Steve was really dope. And the concept of Flourish and what it's about is really dope as well. That's and it's mine, needed. actually. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's super needed. I didn't know he had that many uh, businesses already lined up, yeah. trying to get in, trying to get involved. So I actually feel honored uh, to be involved mm -hmm. and, you know, we, we, we got to make sure our connection is solidified yes. on, on, in other realms, man. You got listen, this is a layup. Mm. This is a layup. And he talked about relationships and what you just saw was like it happening in real time. Like you guys, our watchers, our viewers have a relationship with us. If you have a business and you want to use our relationship with him to get on his site, you see, he yes. said he's going to help you out. That was in real time. That's in real time. So it doesn't get any better than that. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm a Kwan, so clap that up. I'm gonna have to clap that up. Yes. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way I couldn't find it. Hey, what's up? If you like what you just saw and you want to see the full, uncut, raw, uncensored podcast, hit the link below. It's only $5 a month or $50 for the entire year. Get all the content. Get Black Diet in his rawest form. Get a bunch of exclusive content. Yes. Next four scene by anybody else and you can only be a member to see it. Become a member now. Click the link below.